We've all been there. Getting stream sniped is no fun, and you want to be able to just hide, obscure, or otherwise get away from your in-game map every time you press your map key when you're in your game. Right? I have two, but well, kind of three potential solutions for you here in this video that apply depending on the different directions you want to take with it, and I'm excited to show it with you today. I love solving problems for you all. I wasn't going to have three videos this week, but when your boy gets some inspiration for a tutorial, you get in a tutorial. And we're answering a question from our Discord server today. Hi friends, does anyone know how I can apply a source to show on hold rather than toggle in OBS Studio? It turns out I did some digging into this. I didn't know this, but apparently in Streamlabs OBS or whatever they're calling it now, they had a hold hotkey option and OBS Studio doesn't have this. However, this functionality is something you can recreate in OBS Studio. The goal here is to be able to, when you hold down your map key, in a video game, especially a battle royale or a first person shooter, it blurs the screen or shows an overlay or does something else so that your viewers don't see your map. That way you don't get stream sniped and things like that. And I have a solution. It's not the perfect solution, but it's a solution. And actually I'm gonna reference two solutions here. So first and foremost, I did post a video back in July of last year featuring a plugin for OBS Studio that will actually detect whenever a certain image, a certain visual, whatever is shown on your screen. You have to be very careful with your screenshot mapping and it will automatically just like blur your screen or do any action that you want. It can switch scenes, it can blur it, whatever. That's pretty cool, but it requires basically forking OBS and it's not the ideal workflow. We can do better. For this, I'm using a program called Auto Hotkey. Auto Hotkey is a scripting system for Windows that I use for everything. I've talked about it in past years, how I use it for my video editing macros. I have some of these icons. I have a bunch of different Auto Hotkey scripts running in the background of my computer at pretty much any point in time. It is awesome. So for this, we're using Auto Hotkey, download and install it. And then you don't really need to touch anything related to Auto Hotkey. We're gonna make our own script. I will have a link to this script posted in the description down below but this is the gist of the script. The code itself is fairly straightforward. Ignore the stuff at the top that's just required auto hotkey stuff, but effectively what we're doing is whenever you press the G key, it sends your hotkey, which in this case is control alt T. G is just your map key you use in game. You can change G to be whatever key you want, and then you can change your hotkey to be whatever you want. In this case, the caret is control, the exclamation point is alt, so control alt T is our hotkey that we're using to show or hide a filter or overlay or what have you. Okay, editing Epos coming in here to update this script. I have actually updated the script over on GitHub. The original script that I showed was not working properly when OBS was out of focus. And this is because AutoHotKey has some weird issue when it comes to sending hotkeys to OBS when OBS isn't in focus. It's just a big issue. There's a lot of threads on it. And my dummy trying to rush and make the video didn't notice that when I was testing it with OBS in focus. However, we can now showcase here if I unfocus OBS, if I have Discord pulled up, for example, and hold G, as I hold G, it still shows the image. There is a caveat here, though, however, in that you cannot use modifier keys. So when I originally showed the script, it had like Control Alt T. The modifier keys, if I try to do that, it will send and start activating the alt menus and things like that. So that does not work. So instead, I recommend using F13 through F24. That is the extended set of function keys, which no other application really uses. And so in Auto Hotkey itself, you can literally just put F24 in the little squiggly brackets and that's fine. And then once you run your script in order to set it as the hotkey, you just press the key you pressed and it'll send F24 to OBS. So that is the fix. The script has been updated from what you see throughout most of this video, but the functionality is still there. I have fixed it. So it sends this thing, waits while you hold it down, waits for you to let it up and then sends that command again. So the entire time that you were holding, like from the moment you press G, it sends the hotkey and then it just waits until you let go of G and then it sends the hotkey again. So the workflow here is that a script is running in the background. It detects when you're holding down that key and then it fires off a hotkey to OBS. And then when you let go of that key, it fires the hotkey again. And then in OBS Studio, we can just set the show and hide to be the same hotkey or even different hotkeys and auto hotkey will do the switching for you. It is fairly straightforward, but since OBS doesn't natively support it, this is the workaround. Fairly straightforward hopefully easy to understand. Like that's literally all it's doing. It's listening for you to hold down this key. And then as soon as you start holding it down, fires off a hotkey. As soon as you let go, fires off a hotkey. So we take the script, we save it as a .ahk file. So I'm gonna say map blur .ahk. Depending on your text editor, you may need to choose no file type here, but that's fine. 
.ahk. And again, keep in mind, you do need auto hotkey installed, and then you have a .ahk file here. It should read it as an auto hotkey script. Now we double click it. It's going to show up as the default auto hotkey logo in the bottom right corner in your system tray. It's going to say mapblur.ahk is running in the background. So now every time we press or hold the G key, it's going to send that hotkey. So now that that's running in the background, we can work our magic. I'm going to open up OBS Studio and get a scene set up for us to kind of demo this on. Okay, here we have some basic gameplay. Nothing fancy, doesn't need to be. We're going to display an image over top of the gameplay, which is maybe not what you want to do, but the comment reference is showing an overlay, so we're going to do this method first. So I'm actually going to save this comment as the image, just as the example here. So I saved it as an image. I'm going to drag that onto our scene as our overlay and just kind of resize it to take up part of the screen. Okay, so I have that source. I'm going to hide the source. Now we're going to go into our hotkey settings, settings, hotkeys. We're going to find our source, which by the way, if you're on the OBS version 27.2 update, you can search for sources. So I'm going to say RX. That's going to find our image here. So show and hide. You have the option of setting hotkeys here. The cool thing is you can set the same hotkey for each. Otherwise, you can just edit your script to have different hotkeys. But I'm going to say Control Alt T and Control Alt T. That will show and hide our image. We click apply and click OK. And now we can test this out. Control Alt T shows, Control Alt T hides. So now when I press the G key, I pressed and held it down, it's showing this image, and then I let go, and it hides the image. Press, hide. Do it really fast. Do, 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 do. Hold, let go. Hold, let go. Hold, let go. But there's a better way to do this that we're gonna talk about after this video's sponsor. This video is brought to you by Riverside.fm, my new favorite podcast and video recording platform and what I will be using for future episodes of my Behind the Streams podcast. Riverside.fm is used by Gary Vee, Guy Raz, Spotify, Disney, and many more creators. It records audio and video locally on each participant's device and uploads these local files automatically to the Riverside dashboard. And oh man, the recordings look like they came straight out of camera, which is bonkers and a huge step up from what I was previously using. No more coordinating recording with your guests or anything like that as it's all really done for them. You can receive separate audio in uncompressed 48 kilohertz wave and video up to 4K tracks for all participants. And by all, I mean all, up to eight co-hosts or guests are allowed, which is wild. Riverside uses progressive uploading so that it uploads while the show goes on so you can download your files within seconds of hitting stop record. With the Magic Editor, you can save hours of editing work with a few clicks. Change your size, positioning, backgrounds, layouts, add a logo, and more. Plus, you can export the video ready to upload to video sites and download a transcription in seconds as well. Guests can even join from iPad and iPhone too. Did I forget to mention the cool part? Riverside FM is also a streaming tool, meaning that while you're recording, you can also live stream to most major platforms, which is pretty neat. But streaming does not get in the way of recording. It is a recording first platform with quality as its focus, which I can really appreciate. Plans start from just $7.50 per month. Go to riverside.fm slash eplusfox and use code eplusfox to get $15 off a plan today. That was just to answer the question in the comment asking how to apply an image overlay. If you want to apply a filter instead, for example, to blur out your gameplay without using an image or an overlay or anything like that, you can actually use hold hotkeys, but we're going to use a script to do it that's an OBS script. So it's going to be pretty cool. First and foremost, you want to download OBS filter hotkeys. This is a Lua script for OBS Studio. Click download and extract it and then go to tools, scripts, add a new script, find it. Uh, we're going to use a video filter for this specifically. Click open. And you can see here, it gives you some instructions. We're going to go to your specific source you want to blur, which is probably your game capture. Go to filters, add whatever filter you want to obscure it. So I'm going to use a blur filter from StreamFX. We're going to call it hide map. And then we're going to use Gaussian blur and just like crank it up. So no one can really see much of anything. Cool. Well, now we need to go back to filters. I shouldn't close it because we're going to add the OBS filters hotkey filter. You add it as a filter and then it detects all of the other filters on your scene here. So we're going to come over here to filter hotkeys. We're going to say hide map hotkey and just leave that alone. Now we're going to come over here to settings. We're going to go to hotkeys and find your source name. So it's desktop, blah, 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 blah. For me, it'll be your game capture source or whatever. It's right here. Now you have three different settings. You've got disable the source, uh, hide it, toggle it, and then hold. They actually have a hold hotkey option. That is number three here. So for example, we're going to use H for this one. Click apply. And now, well, we are, yeah. Now I hold the H key and it keeps that filter applied while I'm holding that key. So when you're playing your game, when you hold down your map button, it blurs your source. Just an alternative way to do it that I think is pretty cool. 
I know this is a little complicated. There's unfortunately there's currently no just direct hold hotkey option in OBS Studio. I do hope they add it but hopefully I made it a little easier for you. I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial, found it helpful, uh, etc. Uh, if you want to get help for your streams and things like that, I have an awesome community over on our Discord server at discord.gg slash Go check us out, join us, get help with your stream, prompt cool video ideas like this. That was my wrist popping, dear God. Uh, and otherwise, hit the like button, subscribe, and remember, be kind, rewind.